Big Mike is gone. I must find him. Our friends requested I bring him back. It's my fault he's gone. I pushed him. Too far. To tell his story, I have to tell my own. This looks like the end of the road, all right. What did they tell you? They told me you were insane. That your collecting methods were unsound. Do my collecting methods look unsound? I don't see any method at all. I expected someone like you. Are you a collector? I am a gamer. You're neither. You're an errand boy. Sent by grocery clerks to collect a bill. What is necessary to those who do not understand what horror is? You have to be able to collect with passion and at the same time be able to utilize your primordial instincts to collect without feeling without passion, without judgment, without judgment, because it is judgment that defeats us. I worry that our viewers might not understand what I've tried to be. And if I were killed, Terence, I would want you to make a video and tell them everything. Everything I've bought. Everything you've played. Because there is nothing that I detest more than the stench of lies. And if you understand me, Terence, you will do this for me. Big, Big Mike. Mike. Hey, hey, Big, Big Mike. Mike. Come, Come over here. here. I, I think, think it's time we unbox this shit. shit. Come on. What? what? Uh, okay. Uh, uh. 
All right, folks, here we go. The much anticipated unboxing of SD Snatcher for the MSX. And guys, need I need to repeat this? Sando cartridge! All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so SD Snatcher was released in uh, 1990 on the MSX2. This was a, a quasi sequel slash reimagining. And as you can see, it came out, what, two years after? the PC-88 and MSX versions of Snatcher, and this is the first version where Act 3 is present. Yes, in the original versions on the MSX and the PC-88, Act 3 was cut. Uh, there's The rumor going around was due to time restraints, that Hideo's Kojima team was under a lot of pressure to get it to market in time. So Part 3, was, uh, sorry, Act 3 was cut, and they released uh, the original Snatcher as a cliffhanger. Uh, there are rumors going around that it was originally intended for Chapter 3 to come out as a uh, separate disc, but that was all just rumors and speculations. So like Karen said, instead, we actually get an ending in SD Snatcher. Now, just to let maybe viewers know who don't know what SD stands for, SD is super deformed. You can see why Terrence is modeling here, the characters. Uh, the Japanese have this strange obsession, like many things, for these super deformed characters. You'll see them a lot. They do, did it with Gundam, um, several other licenses. Oh my god, look at her legs, they're like little twigs. <laughs> Alrighty, let's, uh, let's crack this baby open. So like we did in level 1 with uh, the MSX2 version of Snatcher, this is yet another complete uh, collector's piece. And this is very prominent in Big Mike's collection. Things you'll remember from last time, the embossed Konami label. I'm very picky. Very picky. So we got a nice little ad here from Konami. Similar to the one that was in the Statue MSX. Some other games and on the back. More really weird, really Japanese stuff. So this does look like a really nice box set here. Some CDs stuff to be on the hunt for. Standard warranty card. And this is kind of cool actually. To, uh, to save your game you had to install a blank disc. So here is your sticker for your game saves. All right, so very carefully, as you can tell, Terrence and I are wearing the gloves, which is, uh, I'm very serious about my rare pieces. We have to wear gloves in order to touch them. So I will carefully, as everyone cringes, try to get this book out. All right, so before we crack into the book, we're gonna go for a mainstay here. Of course, the game is, out of sequence here, but the game is, <laughs> uh, the game is presented on three, three and a half, inch discs which used to at one point in time be more along the lines of the uh the status quo for uh for computer storage and you little touch here each disc has a different picture there's jamie seed and we got our favorite and harry and and, and our favorite item a sound and, cartridge a sound cartridge there with a super deformed snatcher and so anyone that uh that missed the last video, which we will have the link below. You guys got to check it out. It was our first, uh, it was our first big video, and actually the show's series premiere. We talked about the sound cartridge. The MSX2 uh, was a PC, a gaming PC in the late '80s and early '90s in Japan, and it actually relied on a sound cartridge to kind of get uh, the music and whatnot. SD Snatcher only came out on MSX2, but one would speculate, had it come out in the PC-8801, we'd be treated to five, five and a quarter discs. That is Lapis. true. And you know, just a, as a personal note, seeing all this makes me a little sad inside, knowing that just looking at this means we, uh, we here in North America really did miss out on something in the late 80s and early 90s. While we were still desperately clinging on to our Commodore 64s and our Amigas, you know, Japan was getting cool stuff like this. All right, back of the box gives us a little, uh, some screenshots from the game, and what the what the major difference is from this and pretty much every other version is this is more of a role playing game, whereas the others are more kind of like a text slash picture graphic adventure. Graphic adventure, right? And the very unique thing about this is was the uh, the battle system where you could actually target individual body parts as you fired upon them uh, as more people or viewers are probably well known with uh, it, that exact idea being copied in Fallout 3 so it only took 20 years but someone decided to take the same idea 
and I was always watching videos on the gameplay, and by all means do as well, it very much reminds me of an old Falcom RPG, like the, the original E series or Legend of Heroes back in the day. Very, very similar to that. Oh, that's sweet. And, um, I don't believe this is what Big Mike paid. <laughs> 149 pounds, or a euro, I'm pretty sure he paid more. Yep. <laughs> but there's that very, very misleading price, 9,800 yen. Another thing we, uh, we covered in the previous video of what that translates into today's dollar, and it is steep. So we yeah. are in the golden age of gaming to get games as cheap as we're getting. That's true, and game, games have never been more affordable than they are now, and there's the proof right there. Okay, so quick sound call. Metal Gear has gone hand size <laughs> in this version, and I'm speculating this is a young Harry. <laughs> it looks like it to me, actually. That's, that's really funny. Who knows? We may yeah. be completely wrong on that one. And then we got Mika. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, what's his face? <laughs> John, uh, John. Ah, thank you. Uh, Jean Jacques. Jean Jacques. Yep. <laughs> and his daughter, still 14. <laughs> Kojima's still a pervert. <laughs> Crack into the instruction book. And I don't mean crack literally, because uh, it's made to disintegrate in Big Mike's hands. Oh, wait, we can do this the right way this time? Let's have a look at the other side. See if it's uh... No, it's a one way. Oh, sometimes. You never know what Japan's thinking sometimes. Well, we noticed with the last, uh, the last video we did, the instruction book covered both the MSX and the PC-8801. So, half of it was in reverse order. You actually opened it from the other side, and it had more of the generic uh, installation, right? It was the, it yep. was the And then the regular part, which would be like this. All right, so more things we can't understand. It's good to see nothing changed in the two years since uh, the first one was released. And sorry, folks, uh, our Satcher video was several months ago, and in that time, Terrence and I have not learned a single word of Japanese. Go my side. There you go, there's one. Ah, I saw a cool video on this. There's actually some of the mini games that you can come across. That is a Snatcher whack a mole. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cool, you know, like all these little, like, you know, these little things. We got Harry there, and Gillian looks pretty happy toting all his, uh, his weapons. And some kind of like keypad configurations for your whack a mole game. And, uh, uh oh. Here's a Gurian hugging Katrina, and he's <laughs> drooling, and she's still 14. <laughs> and there's one of those spider things. <laughs> That's fantastic. So you got to shoot in Sega CD version. Okay, roll call. The usual suspects here for the most part, even though we got to figure out who this dude is, because he's 22 years old, and it looks like he's having the same timeline, so I don't know. And is it just me, or is this the planet, the robot from the Forbidden Planet movies? Seriously, look at this. <laughs> And the only thing we do understand here is Katrina is still 14. You know what? We're going to get a t-shirt made that says still 14 on it. And everyone nice. else, our friends will know what that means. So here's a, here's a, uh, here's an SD representation of the, uh, of the office. And Gillian's, uh, turbo cycle or whatever it's called in this. And then a cool little Mystic. rendering of the building. Yeah, I don't know what's with this weird kit. Hmm. So, unfortunately, since this only came out in the MS, on the MSX2 in Japan in 1990, uh, the only way that you can play this if you don't speak Japanese and own a MSX and this game, which is kind of rare to get, is to emulate. So, in these instances, it's hard to say no. That's right. And uh, thankfully, some uh, some fans out there have translated it. So, if um, you know. I'm sure one little Google search and you'll be able to find it out there, folks. There is a translated ROM out there of this game. And uh, very important to get a good emulator for the MSX2 as well. I tried before and well, my computer just wanted to take forever so I to play it. Now here's an interesting part. It shows that it's more of an RPG. Uh, Snatcher had essentially one weapon used all the time. This one, more RPG-like. As you level up or get further into the game, you definitely get more powerful weapons. Check that out. I think that's a laser gun from Akira. Yep, it definitely is. With the battery pack. Battery pack! Alright, now we have various grenades and other weapons, mines. It's kind of funny, that almost looks like a depth charge. There's a, obviously some rockets there. And that. a bazooka. Some various health items. Good stuff, and some kind of painful probe device. <laughs> 
Yeah. And this is a really cool thing here. These are steps to watch out for if you come into contact with the Snatcher. Step one, you're in shit. Step two, you're already dead. Step three, he's getting ready for you. Step four, he's putting you on. And step five, it's like you never existed. But rest assured, your skeleton will still be smiling. And cracked in the skull. Nice little spider drones there. More of a serious tone, I guess, with uh, whatever these are. <laughs> Weapons, enemies, modes of transportation. Kind yeah, of like early Robotech artwork style. Cool. Neo Kobe, City, bunch of stuff. Not to be confused with Neo Tokyo from Akira, or Little Tokyo from Samurai Pizza Cats. So we're assuming that this is an explanation of the targeting system in the fights, where you can, as we talked about before, you can attack certain areas. It was explained further as well. And the SD Snatcher on the back. Well guys, as they say, two down. Mike, are we going to see a third? Hopefully in due time, though... Uh... It has taken several years to even find this one, and um, it was, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it was very expensive, but you know what folks, worth every penny for a couple reasons. One is, I have yet another crown jewel in my collection, and number two, I can say very confidently, by the time of this recording, we are still the only YouTube video of an unboxing of MSX Snatcher and SD Snatcher as well. Alright guys, part two of the Holy Trilogy is done. We got... MSX2 Snatcher, we have SD Snatcher almost on the MSX2, but there's something missing. I wonder what it could be. Big Mike's been searching for this for four years. Right, Big Mike? We're going to get that PC8801. Big Mike? Big Mike? Big, Big Mike? Where is this guy? We're supposed to be finishing this. Where are you? Big Mike?